Hey guys, and welcome. Alex from Prospecting Toolkit. And today we're going to talk about how to warm up an email account uh, for cold email. Okay, so how to take a new email account, warm that bad boy up, and start sending a good volume of cold emails and not get blocked by Google or Microsoft or SendGrid or whatever your uh, email service provider is, and keep that account healthy and bringing in uh, revenue and sales. So let's jump right into it. Now, before we go any further, uh, I want to talk about some warm-up steps that you always need to do. You always have to do these every time you, you know, set up a new email account just for cold emailing and you start doing your campaigns um, and your warm-ups. This is critical, critical stuff, okay? So number one is you want to verify your email lists, okay? Um, tools like Prospecting Toolkit um, and all these other tools out there to get leads and things, um, you know, they're, they're, they do a simple verification usually, but it's not like a total like 3.5 point convert, you know, uh, verification type of process um, like uh, something like email list verify uh, does which I'm gonna leave their link down here in the bottom extremely affordable really solid service we've been using for over a year now and um, it definitely you know verifies make sure that everything is, is good and we get a zero percent bounce rate in most cases so that's just um, very very helpful bounce rate is a huge factor in email deliverability if your bounce rate is high you're sending to people that don't exist um, you know basically Google Microsoft all these companies they, they pick up on that very quickly and they will block your account okay so they high bounce rate is a no-no always verify your email list and and I recommend using email list verify for that now number two is you want to definitely set up your SPF your DKIM and your DMARC DNS records okay now I might sound like I'm speaking some Chinese here but um, basically these are records that you're going to put in your domain providers DNS settings. Like if you're using Namecheap like I am or GoDaddy or something like Cloudflare, whatever you're managing your DNS domain settings with, um, you're going to want to go in there and you're going to want to add a couple of very key records. And uh, in this blog post that's uh, that's here on um, blog, um, you're going to see that there are links to each of these things and they're, they're guides from Google. Um, you know, if you're looking for something other than Google, you can go find, you know, your company's uh, guides. But, you know, these are are going to be very easy to follow. You got your SPF, your DKIM, and your DMARC records, okay? Get those out of the way. Verify your email list, set up your DNS records, and that's going to be something that you want to do every single time uh, that you do this warm-up process, okay? Okay, guys, so today we're going to talk about two methods of warming up your email. One is the manual email warm-up. One is the automatic email warm-up. OK, um, there's a couple of differences here. And, uh, you know, one is definitely going to be better for you and your specific situation. So I'll just go through that real quick. Um, the manual style of email warm up is extremely time consuming and it does take a lot of work. OK, so you're going to have to put the effort in there. Um, if, if you, you know, you're short on time, but you got a budget, this is not the one for you. OK, if you're, you know, with no money budget, you're just getting going. This is like your first time doing this. You don't want to spend a bunch of money. You want to keep it low cost. Um, you know, this is going to be the best way you go with the manual annual email warm up. Now if you're more like me and you want to save time, your time is very valuable and you know you're already maybe doing this and cold emailing and doing this kind of sales stuff or recruiting stuff and you know you just need a, a better solution to do your email warm ups and just get your new accounts up and running, I recommend the automatic email warm up method, okay? It's going to save you a ton of time. Um, it's going to be a bit of a money investment, but that just makes sense. And you're going to see actually that there's uh, a very, very high value, low cost way to do this um, in an unlimited email sender um, way that that's going to blow your mind. So it's not that bad of a, of a dollar investment, but you do have to have a little bit of budget. Um, and it's better for the long term at the end of the day, because, um, you know, it, it keeps the activity happening month by month by month. But it also allows you to not worry about it. Right. You can just set it, forget it, let it go. And it's you just know that you're reputation is going up and your email accounts are being warmed and um, everything is looking good. Okay. So that's the most important thing is, you know, if you've, if your time is valuable, you definitely want to use the automatic email warm up method. So for those of you that are time rich and, and money poor, so to speak, or, you know, you, you basically are trying to get started on the lowest possible budget that you can, um, the manual email warm up method does work just fine. It's just a bit more time intensive. So let's jump into what that entails and how you're going to do that. So um, number one, you need to sign up for newsletters. Okay. I recommend daily newsletters, um, investment and stock market and Bitcoin and things like that. Newsletters are really good for this because they're daily or weekly and they're very frequent. Um, so they keep the activity kind of high. Um, so 
um, you know, newsletters like Robin Hood Snacks, Morning Brew, um, you know, Quora, um, signing up for Quora is a really good one. That one, you know, kind of just emails you a lot. You can do the digest emails um, from, you know, Active Campaign, a couple of the bigger, you know, HubSpot, things like that. Just sign up for newsletters. You can even Google, you know, daily, weekly newsletters and, you know, you'll find a whole list of, of stuff you can sign up for and just get those newsletters going. Um, that's going to keep the email kind of looking regular. Okay. Number two is you want to send emails to your network. Okay. And these are just friendly emails. I mean, you really want to send emails to your mom uh, and your dad or your brother or your friend or your coworker or your wife or husband or girlfriend, boyfriend. You literally just want to send emails that are like, Hey, how you doing? How's everything going? You can send emails to other emails that you own, like, um, you know, an answer from your phone, answer from a different device, these kinds of things. Just send emails that are very friendly and like, <clears throat> extremely non-salesy and um, just keep doing that and getting replies. Make sure that when you send something, it gets a reply back. Okay. That's going to be the power um, in this part of the process is you want to make sure that basically you send this email and you get a reply. Okay. Reply rate is extremely important when it comes to email deliverability and stuff like that. So you want to keep your reply rate, you know, over 10%, over 20% if possible. And that's going to just make your deliverability better, going to hit the inbox more often and your cold emailing activities are going to have a better ROI. Okay. Okay. Number three, gradually increase your cold email sending volume. So basically, you know, as you're sending these emails to your network and getting replies, as you have these newsletters coming in, yeah, as you have your, you know, your records, uh, your SPF and all that stuff set up and your uh, email lists are verified, um, you want to gradually start to send cold emails and you want to gradually increase it. Okay. I would say, um, you know, we do have a guide here also in that same blog post. Um, and, you know, this is what we usually recommend, you know, week one, sending like 25 emails per day. Um, and, you know, this is after a good like two, three weeks of running your other warm up process of just sending emails back and forth and the newsletters coming in. Again, if it's a new email account, you want to give it, you know, at least three weeks um, before you start actually like sending emails, uh, cold emails aggressively. Okay. So, you know, I would start with 20, 25 emails a day, something like that. Um, you can go a little less if you'd like to, to just be on the safe side and just increase um, the email sending by five a day. So, um, you know, if you're going from week one, 25, week two, 50, it just means you're kind of sending five more emails each day. Okay. This looks really natural. It re looks really normal and you know you're not going to have any problems with that so this is the best schedule that i found right here is just to, if you want to get up to 100 emails per day which is generally the most I want to send from one, you know, G Suite account or Office 365 account, for instance. Um, you know, just just increase it like this, but just make sure you make it gradual. You don't just start slamming out 100 emails a day with the same template. Just, you know, maybe be prudent about it. Test different scripts and different subject lines and things. Change up your emails. Don't send the same email a million times. Um, you know, and and you won't get in trouble with with Google or any of these places. Okay, so you want again, you want to gradually increase um, your cold email sending volume. Okay, so that's pretty much the manual email method right there. You know, you just want to sign up for newsletters, um, start sending emails to your network and just start sending cold emails. Okay. And it's just, it's going to be a bit time intensive on this and this um, one and two. Um, and number three as well, you need to kind of keep tabs on that. Make sure you're either um, changing your sending volume in your app that you're using uh, or use something like prospecting toolkit where we have that automatically built in. So that basically it just, it automatically increases the, uh, the volume over time. Okay, next is the automatic email warm up method. Okay, so this is like for, you know, time savers with, with a little bit of a budget here, you're serious, you're ready to make some sales and some revenue, got a solid sales process. Uh, maybe you've already been doing this stuff. So this is going to really help you. Okay, first off, you want to sign up for prospecting toolkit. And I'll tell you why. Okay, so basically with every other solution out there, um, you can only connect one SMTP sender. Okay. So at almost every service out there, you're paying per sender. You know, you just have to keep kind of paying and paying and paying the more emails you want to set up. Okay. So it's pretty inconvenient when it comes to doing more like bulk campaigns where you want to spread sending across a, a couple of different emails or you have like multiple sales reps, things like that. Right. Um, so sign up for prospecting toolkit with, with prospecting toolkit. You're going to be able to do unlimited warmups uh, for a flat fee, which is pretty revolutionary. And you get some really cool metrics on everything that's going on. Um, you know, and it, it's just literally there's two buttons. You just click the buttons. And so I'll go back here for a second that basically you just set up your SMTPs. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll walk you through how you do that. So once you're in prospecting toolkit, um, first you're going to set up your SMTP settings. Okay. So you want to add a new SMTP sender. Um, this is super simple and it depends on, you know, what provider you're using, but um, you can name it whatever you want. Um, this is the uh, full name that it's actually going to, the emails are going to come from. So in my case, it would be like, you know, Alex Gray, um, the sender email. So you can put, you know, email 
at myemail.co, right? This is your like cold email, um, alternative email domain, okay? Um, then you're gonna have a couple of settings. If you're gonna use Gmail um, and if you're gonna use Office 365, uh, we've actually got tutorials um, on all that stuff. Um, it's on this same blog post that I'm referencing over here. So this will walk you through everything. This is just a prospecting toolkit forward slash how to warm up email or in the blog and uh, you'll be able to find this post. But basically we give you all of the um, steps right here. So before connecting, you need to do a couple things in G Suite. Um, here's your SMTP settings. Um, if you're in Outlook, um, same thing. You might have to set, set up a couple of things. For Office 365, same deal. Um, so pretty simple, but you just want to make sure that you set these uh, these kind of um, you know IMAP and things like this up before you you do your thing. But all the instructions are in here. Um, so basically, you just would would set all that up, and then you just put in your SMTP. So it could be SMTP or no, the the username, right? So you want to do the username would be uh, your email address. Um, you want to put in your uh, your host, which is smtp.gmail.com. Um, it's already in here, uh, ghosted out there, 465. Um, you put in your password. You can leave all this the way it is. And then you're going to want to check to use IMAP. Um, you can put in your imap.gmail.com. This is all you know up here to help you out. Um, you can put in your IMAP username, which is, again, email at myemail.co. You could put in um, 993, which is uh, already there, and the password, okay? Then you can add a signature to this email if you'd like, which shows up on every uh, on every email that you send out, okay? And you set your daily limit, okay? So this is the ultimate limit that you're going to send across all, like, campaigns and everything, okay? So I might make this, like, 100, knowing that I'm going to send 100 a day uh, from this from this email. Then you want to set up your, um, you know, you want to set up your, your time zone so that it always, like, resets at midnight your time when you're doing this. And then you just update and check the sender. Now, if you have any errors and stuff, just go back and forth. We also have our, our friendly tech support over here who will help you out. Um, but basically, you just kind of update and check the sender. It should send a test email to your email and you're looking good okay so once you have this set up it's going to add uh, it's going to go ahead and add your new email here and it'll be green that it's ready to send it'll be green that it can read replies okay which is important for tracking cold email campaigns um, through this tool as well so once you're done with that it's, it's this is the warm-up process here you just literally click warm up the deliverability this will take you to this page um, where it says hi and shows you the configuration. Um, you just set up how many, you know, warm up emails. So these are emails that are sent to our network of users from Prospecting Toolkit um, and it gets replied and it's just taking it out of spam. It's doing this like all automatically. So everybody's emails are all getting warmed up, right? As a community, um, you just set how many emails per day that you want to be sending to these natural emails that are kind of getting replied to and taken out of spam, um, you know, and just set that. So 45 is the highest that you can do per day um, and again that's per day so that's a pretty high volume of like you know normal regular emails um, you know and then usually we recommend that you set this to two emails um, to send uh, gradually more each day okay so it's gonna be two, two more two more two more two more every day until it gets to 45 for example um, and then you're gonna see different uh, you know metrics here they're gonna show you the emails you know that are removed from the spam folder that are replied to by their users um, this is gonna give you a whole data um, you know kind of look at what's happening with the warm-up and how everything's looking okay then the other part that you want to do here is come back to senders um, in SMTP and you want to warm up the daily uh, limit okay and the way you warm up the daily limit is you just click this you check the box and you say how many emails do you want to send more per day and we had mentioned about five you could go a little less a little more uh, but this is like per day the more cold emails that you're sending out so you can ramp up to your maximum sending volume so you know again this may be a hundred in our case this may be five in our case uh, really doesn't matter you just set it up how you'd like to set it up and kind of at with the volume that you're going to be doing once you click uh, update the warm-up uh, configuration here everything's going and everything's running in the background okay so you're now warming up these email addresses um, everything's working fine and again within our uh, unlimited plan you can connect as many SMTP senders as you want so you can warm up as many email addresses as you'd like um, all at the same time all right, guys, I want to thank you again for joining me today. Um, thanks for getting all the way through this video. Um, you know, basically, this has been how to warm up an email account for cold email. Uh, if you like this video and, and this was interesting or, or helpful for you, go ahead and smash the like button, smash the subscribe button so you get uh, notifications of all the videos that we're uh, putting out that are all going to be free value like this. Um, and if you want to also share it uh, with somebody that's in need for this information. So, you know, if they're in sales or they're in recruiting or they're a business uh, owner in B2B, 
key. Um, I think this will be extremely valuable for them and you may you know, save them a lot of time uh, just by sharing this video. Also, just before I go, uh, we do have a Telegram group that's completely free. It's a community of uh, lead generators, prospectors, recruiters, sales pros, 30-year uh, sales vets in some cases. We're all up in here, uh, me included, um, throwing out questions, sharing stories, helping each other out. And again, completely free. It's a Telegram group. It's called Outbound Crew. And uh, it's t.me. Uh, forward slash cold underscore email. So I'll go ahead and link that down in the description. Join the outbound crew. Um, come in there, ask questions. If you have questions, we're happy to answer anything you guys need. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and keep prospecting.